What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the full 90. It is time for the week 32 Premier League predictions. Now I am actually going away on a trip next week so I'm recording this a little bit ahead of time so I don't actually know any of the results from the last Premier League game week. But despite that, here are all the winning accumulators since the last episode. We had a banging Monday yesterday with the result of both teams to score double in the championship. The high odds away days League 1 winners treble. The Italian both teams to score double with Serie A and Serie B combined. The Dutch result on both teams to score double as well and the Premier League all day both teams to score treble thanks to some late drama of Brentford Manchester United if you want to get exclusive access to all of the tips and accumulators available to members for just $8.99 a month then you can use that link at the top and join over on the Patreon you can also direct message me and all that good stuff and flashing up on the screen are all the members that have joined the Patreon and started supporting me since we kicked this off this season and you obviously do get a shout out in every single video like the members flashing up on the screen so as I said I don't know any of the results from the previous game week because I need to record ahead of time but also in this video I have a free six-fold accumulator for you that will be at the end of the video with odds of more than 12 so keep an eye out for that and uh, let's get started with none other than Crystal Palace up against Manchester City now obviously we know that Man City and Arsenal drew nil-nil I'm predicting that Man City will be able to get the win over Aston Villa in the game week that you probably will know I don't know if Man City will have actually played yet by the time this video goes out uh, because obviously the fixtures are so close together I think what it'll be you guys will know the Tuesday fixtures by this point let me just check and clarify what you will know so actually you will will know the Tuesday and Wednesday fixtures but you won't know the results of the Thursday fixtures because they'll be playing in a couple of hours so that'll be uh, that'll be Liverpool, Sheffield United and Chelsea, Manchester United, but you will know all of the other results. So I'm assuming that uh, Manchester City do get the win and Crystal Palace, uh, I think they can score against Bournemouth and you guys will know this, but I'm not sure they'll be able to get anything from that game. But in this one, I'll try not to reference the previous game week too much because obviously you guys already have the hindsight. You don't need me to theorise what may or may not happen. So I'm going to go for Manchester City to win. I'm going to go for 2-0. Crystal Palace, as far as bogey teams for Man City go, they are a little bit of a bogey team for Manchester City but I think they're going to get the job done I'm going to go 2-0 to Man City and my tip I've got one of above evens which I think is pretty good I'm going to go for Manchester City to win and under 3.5 goals I don't see Man City going there and winning 4-0 uh, I don't really when was the last time Man City for example scored four goals in a game let's check obviously they drew a blank against Arsenal they're yet to win actually against any of the current top five in the league they drew 1-1 with Liverpool if we go back even further than that they scored three against Manchester United, but everyone kind of saw that coming. They beat Bournemouth 1-0. Uh, they drew with Chelsea 1-1. We're going back a long way here. They beat Everton 2-0. We're already back into the beginning of February now, and we still haven't seen a game where City have scored four goals in a game. Even against Burnley at home, they didn't score four goals. Uh, they beat Newcastle 3-2. They scored two against Sheffield United before that. We're into week 19 now. They beat Everton. So the last time Man City scored four goals... I couldn't tell you when it was. It was absolutely ages ago. In fact, I'm going to scroll all the way down and find out when it was uh, they last scored four goals against somebody. They drew 3-3 with Tottenham in game week uh, in game week 14. This is the Premier League, of course, we're talking about. Drew Liverpool again. Uh, this is just now interesting for me. The last time they scored four goals, Manchester City, was in that 4-4 draw against Chelsea many, many months ago. I think about six months ago at this point. So, City aren't scoring goals like they have done in previous years. I think it's going to be low scoring. A long and an interesting way to justify my pick here. Man City and under 3.5 goals, 2-0 to them. After that, it's Aston Villa up against Brentford. I think Aston Villa at Villa Park are going to get the win here. Obviously, as I said, predicting them just to miss out against Manchester City, but I'm hoping for otherwise. I'm going to go for Aston Villa 3, Brentford 1, and uh, that is going to be the prediction. The tip is going to be Aston Villa and both teams to score. I have 5, I think, no, 4 win and both teams to score tips in this video today so if you want to create a mega acker the odds would be oh my goodness the odds would be probably about 50 to 1 for all of them combined if you wanted to check that out maybe even more uh, but I'm going to ask them to win and both teams to score after this is Everton up against Burnley the Sean Dyche derby <laughs> I think Everton are finally going to get a win here they've got to get something they've got to get something I'm going low scoring I'm going to go Everton 1 
Burnley nil. And the tip is going to be Everton to win at 1.61. It ends here. Everton need to get a win. Now, obviously, they might win against Newcastle. Uh, I don't suspect they will. Uh, but they are currently on a on a winless streak. But that might have changed. I highly doubt it at St. James's Park. But I'm going to go for them to get the win. 1-0 against Burnley. After this, we move to Craven Cottage for Fulham up against Newcastle. I think this is going to be a high-scoring, exciting game. Fulham, they love a good home fixture. Obviously, not too long ago, they destroyed Tottenham three goals to nil. I think this is going to be high scoring, entertaining. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw between the two teams. And the tip is going to be both teams to score in over 2.5 goals at 1.72. I really like the odds. I think they, they're they both capable of scoring. They're both capable of winning. I don't know who's going to win, if anyone's going to win. So I'm going to go for a high scoring draw, 2-2 Fulham and Newcastle. After that, we go to Luton up against Bournemouth. And this is going to be a really interesting game. I think that this is going to be another high-scoring game. Obviously, we saw 4-3, I believe, between these two teams in the most recent meeting between the two. I think Luton are actually going to be able to get a point at home here. So I'm going to go for another one. Back-to-back, 2-2 two -two score predictions. Back-to-back, -back, both teams are scoring over 2 more 5 goals tips as well. This one being slightly lower odds of 1.66. Obviously, Luton, even though they lost to Tottenham, continuing their scoring run. And a Bournemouth beating, uh, who was, they beat Everton 2 goals to 1. So fantastic there. I predicted Luton will lose to Arsenal at the Emirates, which is no surprise there. And I, I think Bournemouth can get a win against Crystal Palace. But you guys obviously know that already. I'm going to go for a 2-2 two -two draw here. After this, it's Wolverhampton Wanderers up against West Ham. Ham. Really difficult to predict again for me. I think at the, the London Stadium, I'd go for a West Ham victory. But at Molyneux, I think Wolves might be able to get something out of this game. So I'm going for a third in a row, back-to-back -back score draw. This time, slightly less. Wolves won, West Ham won. The tip, once again, is going to be both teams to score at 1.53. And now we move into some very exciting fixtures with big implications for the title race. Kicking it off with Brighton up against Arsenal at the Amex Stadium. And I think Arsenal are going to win. A couple of years ago, I'd be very scared as an Arsenal fan playing Brighton because Brighton play that kind of exciting not scared of anyone football that just makes Arsenal fold but these days Arsenal are looking a lot more resilient obviously in the last fixtures last nine fixtures I believe they've scored 33 and conceded four this is not including obviously their game against Luton uh, but they are looking good they are unbeaten in 2024 of course having played Man City Liverpool and Newcastle so some really strong teams there I think they can beat Brighton here I'm going to go for Arsenal to win 3-1 and the tip is going to be Arsenal and both teams to score at three. My second of four win and both teams to score tips with Villa being the first, Arsenal being the second. After this, it is game of the week. It's Manchester United up against Liverpool. Now, I, I really, I really hope Man United actually step up and do something here and get a result against Liverpool as an Arsenal fan. This is probably Liverpool's one of their hardest games left in the run in this season. And I'd love it if, you know, if, if, well, if Crystal Palace can upset Man City, Arsenal beat Brighton, and then it's all on Man United to do Arsenal a favour. It would be the perfect game week as an Arsenal fan. However, I don't see it happening. I think Liverpool are just too good. It is at Old Trafford, so you never know. I hope Man United show up and perform. I'm going to say it's it'll be close. I'm going to go for Liverpool to win 2-1. And the tip is going to be Liverpool to win at 1.75. I think they are on a good... They're on a, on a roll, basically. And I think they are going to be able to beat Manchester United. This is... It's an everything game here for Liverpool. So the tip is going to be Liverpool to win. After this, it's Sheffield United up against Chelsea. I do think... Sheffield United are going to score. They could get something from this Chelsea side. They really could. But I can't I can't do it again. Chelsea, the last game we know of, currently uh, drawing 2-2 to a 10-man Burnley. They can't do worse than that, surely. Uh, I've actually predicted them to scrape a draw for Chelsea Man United, which I believe at the time you're watching this will be kicking off in a couple of hours. So maybe they can get something from United as well. But I'm going to shade it. To the Blues, 2-1 away. And this is my third of four. Chelsea to win and both teams to score at 2.6. And the final game, it's Tottenham up against Nottingham Forest. Tottenham, they're playing West Ham. You will know how that goes. I could see West Ham winning that, honestly, but you never know. Uh, and Nottingham Forest, they would have played Fulham. I could see Nottingham Forest winning that, but I think Fulham might have done. You never know. Could be a draw. I've no idea, to be honest, on those two because they, who knows? I think Fulham at home would do well, but not so much away from home. But Tottenham, I'm going to go for them to win 3-1 against Nottingham Forest, and it's the fourth and final win in both teams to score. Tottenham and both teams to score at 2.6. And now for the sixth fold, it's going to be the top five 
and Chelsea winners sixfold. So that is the top five teams in the league and Chelsea as well to win their fixtures. So that's Man City, Arsenal, uh, sorry, Man City, Aston Villa, Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea and Tottenham all to win odds of 12.42. Which one is most likely to not come uh, come in? I would say it is the one with the highest odds and that's Liverpool at Old Trafford. But I could also see potential slip-ups for Arsenal and maybe even Chelsea. But you never know. Fairly confident with Manchester City, of course. Uh, fairly confident with Tottenham. But you never do know. But all six to win at 12.42. So that is going to do it for this video. If you did enjoy it, please do drop a like. Make sure you subscribe down below. Thank you once again for 27,000 subscribers. I just spent this morning going through the schedule. And I've planned out all of the videos for the summer. The end of the Premier League season. The end of the Champions League. And Euro 2024 as well. With pre-tournament predictions. Three groups stage prediction videos around a 16 quarterfinal semi-final and final prediction video as well so a long euro 2024 series over the summer which is going to be super exciting so subscribe that so that you don't miss it and i'll see you in the next video very soon